Good evening to everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Polaya working as a professor in the Department of CSC Data Science, IRE. Coming to the today, my video lecture, the complete topic which I mean selected from module one. So this module one uh, is nothing but as per our the uh, subject name, image processing and analysis. This image processing analysis contains four modules. Module 1, 2, 3, 4. Out of these four, today I am going to start module 1. So the module 1 which completely started in terms of image processing and analysis. So actually uh, my topic why I selected image processing and analysis is nothing but I wanted to introduce module 1 with the help of uh, the module 1 syllabus. Where this module 1 syllabus is completely uh, provided in terms of fundamentals. That means image processing fundamentals we can cover from module 1 itself. So that means you can understand that the module 1 complete introduction is here will start in terms of the origins and the fields of image processing, steps in a digital image system, image sensing and acquisition, sampling and quantization. <coughs> and also we are going to concentrate pixel relations, the pixel relations which we are uh, forming in terms of file formats or uh, that pixel relation which helps us towards to say the image as a uh, color images or color Im images of models and also you can say this image operations that means this image processing operations are number one arithmetic number two logic and number three statistical and spatial operations where these all uh, uh, one to another of the operations which we are going to discuss in detail later on First of all, today, what I am going to be covered from the syllabus, especially, so what I have been re re read the syllabus, from there, I am taking the introduction about the module 1, that is nothing but, simply I can say, <coughs> simply, simply I can say, so how can I introduce the fundamentals of the image processing, that is nothing but image processing fundamentals, where, this introduction also helps us towards to establish the, the relationship in between course objectives and course outcomes. How can we map with this module 1? And also, I am planned uh, for today's deliver lecture uh, in the, uh, extendedly the, from the syllabus that is the origins and fields of image processing. So here fifth one is the applications of digital image processing. So this five, uh, uh, one to another, we are going to discuss right now. So coming to the, uh, first of all, when I started this module one as a uh, image processing fundamentals, how can I map this one towards to student achievement? A student who is uh, learning this uh, image processing fundamentals, especially from module 1, we can uh, cover the complete topic, especially uh, if we take it from introduction to uh, the origin and the field of image processing, which can be achieved in terms of gaining knowledge regarding the, the concept which he has uh, towards to prepare his own knowledge in terms of different applications and he can go into achieve the outcome is in terms of concepts of fields of image processing for digital image processing applications. So with this slide, what I wanted to uh, help you uh, simply says that uh, uh, this table one helps simply, yeah, we can uh, understand the student who is achieving these uh, course objectives can be prepared and uh, map with the course outcomes. Next, coming to the this uh, topic that is especially module one topic which we discussed just now with previous slides 
where the previous slides are helpful towards to achieving the course outcomes mapped with module 1 where this module 1 uh, started from co1 and uh, co2 both internally linked together that means the module 1 syllabus is completely covers as per our uh, uh, BOS uh, standard syllabus so we can uh, achieve not only CO1 and also CO2 where this CO1 we are going to be prepared completely in terms of uh, Bloom's tax, tax money levels is understand and also we are going to see CO2 we understand that uh, the fundamentals which we have covered under CO1 as understanding level and the CO2 the Bloom's taxonomy levels will be increased towards analyze. That means in CO2 we are going to understand from module 1 to module 2 which we are going to extend it the topic wise may achieve not only understanding the levels of the Bloom's taxonomy but also it can be achieved the Bloom taxonomy analysis also. So coming to the uh, point what we want to understand that uh, the program outcomes and the program specific outcomes mapped with uh, module 1 where so, so far we have gone through the we have gone through the CO uh, course objectives mapped with the course outcomes similarly as per our uh, standards of the uh, institutions we also had to look the, the outcome of the program is we are going to be mapped with COs and POs. That means what we understand the program outcome is measures in terms of POs only. So as for our syllabus, we selectively select the POs that is program outcomes uh, and also we selected program specific outcomes. First of all, let me to read what are the program outcomes. We are taking here, there are the three program outcomes which are number one PO1. What do you mean PO1? It is a standard of it is a standard one which every engineering program usually is to follow. Now that is engineering knowledge is is apply the knowledge of mathematics, science, engineering fundamentals and, and engineering specializations to the solution of complex engineering problems. Next number two which we want to extend PO2 that is problem analysis. Identify, formulate, review, research, literature and analyze complex engineering problems re reaching sustained cal uh, conclusions using first principles of mathematics, natural sciences and engineering sciences. This is PO2 which is mostly suitable to uh, our uh, uh, syllabus. And coming to the PO5, it is a modern tool ECG section. So where we, in our image uh, processing and analysis, we are going to use uh, several uh, modern tool uh, ECGs, not only in, the, in terms of uh, uh, software based tools, but also hardware uh, components also we can be prepared for the analysis as a one of the we called as analyzer. So let me to read that PO5 that is modern tool usage. So modern tool usage is here helps create, select and apply appropriate techniques, resources and modern engineering and IT tools including production and modeling to complex engineering activities with an understanding of the limitations. So, uh, what we want to understand these three POs are mostly help us towards to prepare ourselves uh, as much as a confident uh, uh, knowledge of person towards to achieve these three POs. Next, coming to the uh, these POs are extended. Uh, towards to another three that are nothing but uh, which also connected to the uh, program specification output. So is this PO10 is uh, the subject which we are going to use here in terms of uh, communications.
So communicate effectively on complex engineering activities with the engineering community and with the society at large, such as being able to com comprehend and write effective reports and design documentation, make a effective presentations and give and receive clear instructions. So what I want to say, this PO10 compared to PO12, PO10 that is program outcome 10 is achieved in terms of make effective presentations and give the give and uh, uh, receives clear instructions for the subject knowledge. Similarly, uh, another uh, that is the uh, last but not least program outcome is 12, PO12 that is lifelong learning. So what do you mean lifelong learning in the sense it recognizes the need for and have the preparation and ability to engage in independent and lifelong learning in the broad, broadest context of technological change. So here we can uh, say that uh, this lifelong learning especially uh, in our uh, uh, subject that is a digital digital image processing which always machine should helps not only to in our personal uh, uh, technology developments that means personal assistant uh, systems we can prepare in terms of apps that's what uh, one app to another for the sake of our uh, uh, requirement also we can prepare that is the meaning of lifelong uh, uh, learning you by using our subject knowledge so what i want to share here uh, another uh, one is that is program specific outcome that is program specific outcome is simply we can say understand design and analyze the computer program in the area related to algorithms systems software web design big data artificial intelligence machine learning and networking yes yes obviously our uh, programs to speak outcome is three will definitely help us towards to develop such a design analyzing the uh, written program and also we are going to focus not only simply preparing of the algorithms but also we can concentrate digital image systems and also we are going to use different software tools which we can use uh, for the application of digital image system uh, by the assistant of uh, web design and also these three will help us towards the process big data analysis and uh, this big, big data analysis uh, develops this big data analysis develops by using AI techniques nothing but the subset of AI is here machine learning techniques also we are going to use and with that we are not stopping but we can extend this type of knowledge developed to digital imaging system uh, towards to interconnected one system to the another through the networking so uh, try to understand the program specific outcome three is one of the uh, important uh, one which we are going to achieve uh, based on the the knowledge of the our system next uh, as usual uh, when we are uh, starting the uh, uh, syllabus usually we used to discuss about the title of the uh, subject what is our title our title of the image our title of the subject is image processing and analysis then immediately we had to, to understand how can we introduce such a title Yes, we can introduce the title in terms of each and every word. Okay, so that word definition is here. What does it mean? An image. Image is nothing but either a 2D or 3D signal, but that can be observed by the human visual systems. I'll repeat, what does it mean? An image. Image is is either a 2D or 3D signal that can be observed by the human visual system. 
So in our life, in our day-to-day -day life, where we are uh, go through the one by another, uh, simply uh, we are concentrating in and around in our day-to-day -day life, whatever we are uh, observing uh, being a human being in terms of visual systems is nothing but image. That image you may be visualized in terms of a two-dimensional or three-dimensional. So which we are seeing such a process you wanted to keep into the that pro natural process into uh, artificial, then we are going to change that definition of an image into digital image. So now what is the meaning of digital image? Okay. Now whenever we are uh, questioning uh, towards to the difference between an image and a digital image. The difference is here simply a image which we are representation of certain images by sampling in time and space. So I will repeat what does it mean digital image? Digital image is nothing but representing the any type of images by sampling in terms of time and spaces. So here uh, what we want to understand uh, uh, this digital image simply I can define uh, extendedly about this digital image in terms of digital image processing. So digital image processing and digital image and image. So we understood uh, one by another, one to another in terms of relationality. So a image which you can define digital image is nothing but simply we can say representation of images by sampling, sampling in time and spaces. But whereas digital image processing, is it, it is processing, means perform the digital signal processing operations, operations on digital images. So we have digital signal image processing operations, which we are going to apply to the digital images. When we apply a digital image, certain operations which we require to process in our daily in our particular application or selected application we can achieve so once we once we gone through this uh, relationship between image digital image and digital image processing how can we define how, how, how can we say the answer for the question what is digital image processing or what is digital image processing system so digital image processing focuses on two major two major tasks number one improvement of pictorial information for human inscription number two it is completely focuses on uh, autonomous mission application for example in industries for control and the automation of the any process that is actually we can say the second task Processing of da image data for storage, transmission, and representation for uh, autonomous image perception. So, once we understand these two are uh, uh, major tasks, that is, number one, pictorial information for human representation is we are concentrating as one of the tasks. Another task is we are processing of an uh, processing of uh, image data, image data for storage, transmission, and representation for autonomous, autonomous mission perception. So this autonomous mission perception is best example now and then they are developing from even modifying the ATM, ATM mission process. This is mission process. This mission process. Okay, this mission process, how they are processing is, how they are processing is in terms of image, so image data processing. At present, you may be uh, uh, using this ATM process in terms of uh, numerical uh, way, that is numerical data, nothing but pin, uh, pin number we are giving and we are processing the our ATM process, that is any time money mission processing. But in future, this process they are going to be changed based on the storage of image, transmission of an image and representing of the image in, in terms of security, in terms of security. 
security or safe or safe in terms of security or safe so what do we want to understand this security and safe is here we are going to be what are the storage images are helped you to process your atm in future that is by seeing your face or by taking the thumb impression okay and you can uh, uh, interact with the machine so human machine interaction process what we call that uh, the best example of control and automation of the uh, with the help of image processing the best example is here he is here h m i what is hmi human machine interface human machine interface is the system is a system which take the input and it process the your required signal processing and gives the output when it provides the output based on the given input okay so this output is your desired output or not while you are interacting with the machine while you are uh, interacting with the machine being a human being we are interacting with the machine we can understand that yes we reached the input is same as output so when we process like this then your hmi system obviously will be provided perfect output that means no chance to uh, misuse your data misuse your data in the in terms of storage in terms of transmission so next coming to the uh, when we want to do such a digital image processing especially uh, based on the consideration of certain machine process which i said right now hmi hmi human machine interface so here i am taking one of the best references which is a standard reference book okay i will discuss about the book later on coming to the point from that book we are going to be define such a digital image processing towards to define hmi system okay with the help of input and output to define this to define this uh, to define this okay system we we need certain uh, elements what are the digital elements of we are needed especially that uh, elements of elements of digital images number 1 pictorial elements number 2 image elements image element number 3 pels or pixels what are those those are the elements which stores the your data your transmission and representing purpose we are going to use this all the elements this all the elements let me to define one to another one to another out of this first of all first of all i am going to define the the important element of a digital image is pixel is pixel so what is the pixel a pixel is the smallest unit of a digital image or 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 it is a graphic that can be displayed that can be displayed it can be so let me to read once again pixel is the smallest unit of a digital image smallest unit or r it is a graphic that can be displayed graphic that can be displayed the best example is here i am writing figure name is based on pixel based pixel based digital digital image process digital image process so what i am taking here one graphical image okay part of this graphical image i want to read here alone what is that i am reading here i am reading here is the part of uh, Uh, image number of pixels or i am i'm going to be read this part of image graphic so what is this meaning of that i am extending the information from here 
in terms of your required representation. I required here the representation which is certain maybe hidden information. Here is there any hidden information? Any information? This hidden information which I wanted to know only is it possible to know from the digital image processing in terms of pixel. Next, going to here, uh, I am taking one of the standard, uh, this figure is standard image, image of fundamental. Sorry. Simply you can define this figure is fundamental image. What for you are using this fundamental image is simply we can say that this fundamental image is whenever we are processing in terms of uh, uh, towards to read the data in terms of pixel by pixel, pixel by pixel. We are going to be read pixel by pixel. How can we read uh, one pixel to another? So we are keeping that uh, in terms of field of digital image processing refers the process of digital images by means of digital computer or a set of computer algorithms. How can we prepare an algorithm? Yes, we can we can prepare that algorithm based on the your selected your image in terms of uh, two dimensional that is uh, based on the simple definition I can say simple definition this is y axis this is x axis. So this one is uh, an image which I am defining in a two dimensional two dimensional function simple I can say f of x comma y where x and y are the spatial plane uh, coordinates which simply define in terms of the amplitude of f at any pair of the coordinates y x comma y that is this, uh, this uh, x comma y are the coordinates which are defining the fundamental image in terms of objective function. So then we called uh, when we uh, when the relationship of x comma y in terms of coordinates is also called as intensity or gray levels of the image that can be a point by another point. Where x comma y uh, uh, and the amplitude values of f are all finite discrete quantity is we call image digital image processing digital image processing next what are those digital image processing we may have different uh, formats towards to define in terms of two dimensional in terms of this is x axis okay this is y axis okay so when we want to define this one of the image processing uh, format is minor image. Another one is gray image. Next one is color image. These are the uh, broadly we can say fundamentals of the images which we are going to be commonly used in terms of image for formats for the sake of different applications. We may use binary image, gray image and color image. Okay. So, so now, if I wanted to extend these fundamentals of image processing in terms of steps, yes, I can process it. Okay. So uh, before I'm processing this, let me to conclude for today's topic, and we are going to discuss these fundamentals of image processing in coming class. Okay, in coming class. What I wanted to conclude today is here. Whenever we are going to use. The different applications of fundamentals are number one, number one, medical image processing, number two, quality control system, okay, number two, quality control system, number three, surveillance, and number four, law enforcement, and number another one is artistic effects. So there are so many applications of digital image processing which we can uh, study one to another, but uh, broadly. Uh, now and then they are using in different fields which I mean mentioned here very limitedly but 
later on where we are going to see in detail about this uh, syllabus there we can list out uh, number of uh, applications also so as uh, i uh, let me to brief out each and every uh, application of uh, digital image processing which i have been noted here number one digital image processing so what do you mean this uh, number one medical imaging what do you mean this medical imaging in the sense we are going to simply develop your uh, uh, digital image processing towards to your doctor so you are uh, developing doctor assistant system we are developing is doctor assistance system so this is assistant system completely working in terms of what we call what we call uh, digital image processing which helps to the any any doctor for the sake of digital image processing uh, in terms of uh, medical image processing so next quality control system everywhere uh, uh, after completion of uh, certain what we call uh, uh, any product outcome of the product we can achieve by the selecting by the process of digital image processing in terms of quality control system only so we are going to see detail uh, about this how can we prepare a digital image processing for the sake of quality control system later on we will discuss next similarly another application is surveillance what do you mean surveillance yes we are right now in any organization we are under the cc cameras that means the complete cc camera is digital image processing surveillance process only so that also we'll discuss later on in detail next coming to the another one is law enforcement what do you mean law enforcement is here we are going to use this law enforcement uh, uh, department that is preparation of the documents compulsory 100% uh, we are preparing in a good manner for the sake of not only safety and security to avoid the uh, any other uh, uh, misuses of the prepared uh, law enforcement documents next another one is artistic effects preparing is here we are going to be prepare any type of uh, what we call the uh, movie assistance uh, uh, digital image processing later so i'll i will talk the later on in detail about this artist artistic effects also next with this i want to conclude uh, uh of today topic is simply i started uh, module 1 is nothing but uh, image fundamentals that is image processing fundamentals okay so which completely referred with the help of these two uh, references number 1 is rafael gongezel digital image processing uh, prepared by that is published by Pearson International Edition, New Delhi. Okay, another one is uh, uh, another textbook. Yes, uh, J. Raman Digital Image Processing. It is Tata Megrahal Education Private Limited. It is also places Delhi only. So coming to the uh, this end of our. Uh, my topic is uh, the completely i am started with the module 1 introduction which helps uh, towards understanding how this module 1 is the uh, image processing fundamentals helps to map not only your uh, course or object with course outcomes but also how can we achieve with this knowledge your program outcomes and uh, program specifications so with this i'm very thankful for your uh, patient listenings and uh, you can continue uh, this uh, uh, syllabus with an other uh, uh, lecture also i'm really thankful for your uh, attention for uh, understanding this step by step uh, discussion thank you so much thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates